Oh, that poor Jeep. Dig it out soon. After the November 8th and 9th snowstorm. Today's November 11th, Remembrance Day. Nice and calm out. So today we are going to test out the diesel heater inside this camper. It's a uh, minus 12 ultra right now. I'll plug in a screenshot of the weather network here. But first off, can I have to make my way to the camper? But, uh, I think I'm actually going to plug in the block heater of the truck tonight because we are supposed to be hitting minus uh, 50, no, 25? Minus 25 tonight? I don't know. I'll post a screenshot of that. What it's uh, supposed to be getting down to tonight. But, uh, I always loop my block heater cords around my mirror. And then under my hood I've got a uh, battery tender. Two amp trickle charger basically. Or a one and a half amp trickle charger. Uh, I need two hands. Hold on a second. I need a two hands to push that in. I think it's a one and a half or two amp trickle charger under the hood and the block heater. RV's plugged in as well. It's keeping the, uh, the camper's battery charged. I'll hop inside. I'll show you the inside temp. All right, so inside the camper, it's actually not too bad. It's only minus five. <clears throat> Got the remote here. It'll hold power. That's uh, warming up the glow plugs on the diesel heater. I don't know if you guys can see the LCD screen. So it's warming up, fans running. There is about a half a tank of fuel in here. Let's turn the light on. Let's uh, move this bunk bed mattress. So this whole camper's been winterized. I'm on a pretty good slope, so I'm trying not to slide too much. <laughs> Kneel down. So, I think I got about a half a tank of diesel in here. Might even be fuller than that. A full tank when I dip my finger in. I can reach. Yeah, I can't reach. Well, maybe. Actually, I think it's almost empty. I think I ran her dry already. That's Small tank. I don't think she's actually going to light yet. I'm going to have to run out and get, get some cool. Alright. Oh. Well, I've got the heater filled with some diesel. Let's uh, power that guy up. 
to still minus four, minus five-ish inside. You can hear the fan kicking. And uh, we'll go outside and we'll watch that thing start up from the outside. Not sure if you can see any exhaust coming out of there yet. Oh yeah. She's pretty much a full tilt. It's actually melting snow off and ice off the exhaust. It's warming up. Blowing some good heat out of that exhaust there. Melting the snow on the ground. We'll go inside and check the, uh, the vents. All right. Heater is blowing full tilt. You can feel the vent tube is getting warm. Bathroom vent is blowing hot air. Yeah, that's blowing hot air. Try not to fall on my butt. Kitchen vents blowing hot air. And so is a living room vent. It is still minus four in the camper. Let's set the temperature to, whoa. Let's go uh, 22 degrees. The remote. It says ambient temp is zero in here. I don't think this goes into the negatives, that's why. Casing temperature, 222 degrees. It's about normal operating temperature. Battery voltage of the camper, 12.2. The charger, or the battery indicator there says 13. I do believe this remote's a little inaccurate. Battery converter is turned on and charging. So we're gonna let that uh, go for a couple of hours. It's uh, currently 147. Probably be back out here at around dinner time to check on the temperature of the camper, see if this thing's ramped down. And we'll see how uh, how warm this camper can get, and see if these uh, heaters are capable of warming up. This is a 20. Three foot interior, 24 foot interior. So, can it make a can it make it suitable for winter camping in a travel trailer that's sized up for a family? See you guys in a few hours. All right, guys. So it's been about uh, about an hour. It's uh, 2:56 now, p.m. 
so been about an hour saying that it's a uh, five degrees inside the camper we look at the uh, control panel here that is saying it's seven degrees in here still blowing hot air out of all of the vents quite nicely uh, I mean I can't see my breath in the camper anymore so I mean I don't need to be wearing a sweater or a, sorry a jacket in here anymore just my sweater does fine There's a little bit of moisture seems to be collecting on the windows to be expected I mean outside it's below freezing inside it's not so it's gonna Ooh, that was some ice so it's gonna cause some condensation in here so turn a light up on here so far it's uh, working really well uh, I'll turn a flashlight on I did check the fuel supply it hasn't seemed to burn too much yet in that hour. I wouldn't expect it to. I said it's set for 22. I don't know if it's actually going to even reach 22 in here. I want to see if it can. Because, like I said, minus 12 out right now. I'm hoping in a year or two, maybe in a couple of years, when my youngest is a little older, we'll, uh, we'll be able to start camping as a family out in the winter or late fall, early spring kind of thing. You know, no more snow on the ground, but still the nights would be really cold. And being able to heat the camper up using little fuel would be nice. In one of my previous videos you saw, I no longer have a propane furnace in here. I do have an electric space heater as well, if I ever wanted to use that. And I do have a propane Mr. Buddy heater, a big buddy. But when, you're, when you've got a one year old, two year old, three year old, running around using that as your sole heat isn't the safest idea could get tipped over they could get burnt this is the next best option so anyways it's been about an hour it's uh, five degrees in here so it's warmed up 10 degrees I guess that would be so we'll check back in about another hour and we'll see how it's doing in here catch you in a while all right, so we're back in the camper, and uh, it's 14 degrees Celsius in here. Uh, it's about quarter after four, so that's, uh, what, another hour and a half, roughly, from the last time I was out here, hour 15 minutes. So we'll call it hour and a half. It's a 30 degree temperature change from what it is outside. Uh, heater's going strong still. I mean, if I had to, I could totally sleep in here at 15 degrees. The uh, air coming out of the vents is about 162-ish degrees. 162, 163. And uh, you know what? If I was to supplement with the uh, electric space heater, I'd probably get this thing quite hot in here. Uh, I'm honestly very happy with 14 degrees. I think if uh, I went camping in May and October, this would be more than more than comfortable. I mean, I don't plan on ever going camping in a snowstorm or anything like that. But for this to be able to warm up the camper in minus 12, minus 15, you know, 30 degree temperature change, I think is quite respectful. You know, it's quite, that's quite good. Let's see if this has climbed up anymore. Yeah, 164, 165. So, uh, this remote does show what the casing temperature should be. Connecting. There, casing temps. 215 degree casing temps. 12 volts on the battery, ambient temp of 15, it's set to 33 just because I wanted to have that furnace running on full tilt and see if it would, how hot it would get in here, but 
honestly, it's quite comfortable in here. 165. So it's definitely blowing out some decent warm air. Now, if I was to go right at the furnace, I don't know if maybe I got an air leak here somewhere or somewhere I can back probe and test. But that's too hot to touch. I don't know, maybe maybe this will read this resting on here. I, I don't know, I don't think so. So I'm literally just holding the probe against the tube. So there's a lot of ducting that it's got to go through, so it's going to cool down a bit. But for this thermometer to be picking up that temperature off the case just from holding it on against it. Oh, I bumped off. Uh, let's try and get back on there. There. Nope, fell off. There we go. Uh, let's just hold in that one spot and we'll come back and see how hot she gets. Alright, so about 181, 182 is kind of where that's covering off at. Just from touching there, I mean, I could try maybe probing into here. That's getting a better reading. All right, I'm actually in the tube, so I'm gonna let that climb and we'll see. Be back in a couple of minutes. All right, so the thermometer is slowing down at about 198, 199. Honestly, it'll probably climb up right about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So the casing temperature is supposed to be about 220. Can't really get access to the metal casing to probe it. Yeah, 200 degree air, right off the heater, about 170 after it's run through all my ducts at the actual vents. So, not bad. Anyways, I'm going to shut this guy down, I'm going to call it a, uh, a night, and uh, powering off. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I just kind of wanted to, to demonstrate the heater, see how well it works in winter. Honestly, I think this is going to work quite well. Anyways, catch you guys in the next video.